When you have a chance, or even things that have American-made components, just like five years ago you couldn't find glassware, Tupperware, now it's displacing, at least at Target I saw, almost all of its glass now because people want it. Anything else, uh, Jim? Well, just keep up the good work, Alex. You do too as well, my friend. More calls right ahead. We're on the march. The Empire's on the run. Alex Jones and the GCN Radio Network. You may be arrested and or subject to other police action. Tyranny is here. The grim future foretold in 1984 has become reality. It really says that the state is God. The United States is now recognized globally as one of the most oppressive police states on Earth. This film conclusively proves the existence of a secret network of FEMA camps now being expanded nationwide. This documentary exposes how the continuity of government program has established an all-powerful shadow state. Police State 4 chronicles the sickening depths to which our republic has fallen. Prepare to enter the secretive world of emergency dictatorship. Body scanners, sound cameras, citizen spies, stage terror and cameras on every street corner. It's only the beginning of the New World Order's hellish plan. The police state isn't coming. It's here. Secure your copy today at Infowars.com or see it online in the highest quality at PrisonPlanet.tv. Hi, folks. This is Alex Jones asking you for a minute of your time to tell you about soap. Not detergents, but good old-fashioned pure soap made by the Cal Ben Soap Company, a family-owned and operated American company. My family, staff, friends, and radio listeners are constantly telling me how much they love these products for bath, hair, laundry, and dishes. There is nothing like these factory-direct, big-money-saving, triple-concentrated soaps anywhere. Get a free, detailed catalog by calling 800-340-7091 or see them online at 5starsoap.com or infowars.com. Let's talk to the owner of 5 Star Soap, Marty Schachter, and see what he has to say. As founder and owner for over 63 years, people keep asking me, how's business? I'm happy to say our business is going down the drain. Call us at one 800 340-7091 visit our website 5starsoap.com for buying a one to two month soap sampler. Thank you. Hi folks, this is Alex Jones and I want to tell you about the Silver Lungs Generator. Now you can produce pure and endless colloidal silver and deliver the solution directly into the bloodstream by breathing the solution through the lungs. The respiratory system is the first line of defense for airborne pathogens and viruses. The Silver Lungs Generator infuses the respiratory system with your self-produced nano-silver solutions and also delivers the silver nanoparticles instantly into the bloodstream. With continued legislation threatening the sale of nano-silver products, you can now produce pure and endless colloidal silver with the Silver Lungs Generator. Very easy to follow step-by-step -step instructions are provided making production fast and simple. Go to www.silverlungs.com today and learn more about the breakthrough technology of the Silver Lungs Generator. That's www.silverlungs.com. Live from Austin, Texas, broadcasting worldwide. It's Alex Jones. It's a reliable source of information. 50,000 unstoppable watts. Anthrax and radio. If you take our 80 plus affiliates and you count the 100,000 watt global shortwave, the satellites, and everything, it's a lot more than 50,000 unstoppable watts. We got a couple of 50,000 watt AMs, like that great one up in Arkansas that covers four states. It's a lot more than 50,000 unstoppable watts. God bless you all, and thank you for joining us. The radio broadcast is just exploding. The podcast is picking up tens of thousands of new listeners every week. The Apple iPhone being downloaded by thousands every week. The YouTube videos, millions of new views a week. It is absolutely amazing how many people we're reaching together. And yeah, I'm in dangerous waters here at the tip of the spear, but I'm loving every minute of it. And I couldn't do it without my sponsors, the Genesis Network, you, the listeners that spread the word and support us, and my great crew, 
We just get better and better together. I mean, they in seconds now, when I mention something, I say 70% of the U.S. is now fluoridated. Boom. 30 seconds later, they got the CDC's own statistics, 70% up. And just there's nothing like fusing the radio show with the video archive where people can see what I'm seeing. Years ago, people would say, oh, Alex says there's thousands of studies uh, by governments and universities saying that one part per million sodium fluoride doubles overall bone cancer and quadruples it in major studies in boys. It's even worse for boys. And you can just type it in and just literally thousands of studies, thousands of mainstream news articles. Same thing with bisphenol A. Same thing when I talk about world government and globalist quotes. I can just play the video. I can just show you what I'm seeing. We can learn together. It's a, it's a communal experience of awakening. And it's exciting. I'm going to go back to your calls and get into a bunch of news ahead of Catherine Austin Fitz joining us always informative and enlightening. I meant to take the special down yesterday. We didn't get around to it. And I'm going to have some new specials tomorrow. Uh, but we, this super special of our three newest and best-selling films, you buy one, you get three copies free. You buy two, you get eight copies free. That will be taken down tonight. So if you postmark it today and, 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 and write to us, uh, or if you order online, or if you call today, you can still get Invisible Empire, New Order Defined, buy one, get three free. Fall the Republic, breaking down the whole banking takeover, the eugenics, the New World Order, Obama becoming the head of the UN, it's all covered I think this film's, frankly, more powerful and better produced than Obama Deception. I, I, I wish it's the one with 30 million views, but it's not. It's, it's been very successful. You know, I'll, I'll take 10 million free online views. <laughs> but uh, the point, I'm sure the globals don't like it. I mean, <laughs> but they're glad it's not 30 million. Uh, get it. Make copies. You're having a big effect. And, of course, Police State for the Rise of FEMA. Fifteen years of my research condensed into a two-hour, 25-minute film. The entire FEMA camp takeover, the checkpoints, the brainwashing of police. All, all police need to see this because they already know all this, but they're compartmentalized. So they see this. It wakes them up big time. Uh, sheriffs need this. Everybody needs this. Police State for the Rise of FEMA. Buy one. Get three free. Big discount on The Secret of Oz, Solutions for a Broken Economy. Such an important film for everybody to understand our monetary situation and a solution out of it. Very well produced by director uh, Bill Still. Global Warming, Emerging Science and Understanding. Endgame, Blueprint for Global Enslavement. These are all very important films. Highly discounted at Infowars.com. And when you purchase the Patriot T-shirts, the ball caps, the, the uh, Infowars.com ballpoint pins to get people to wake them up. Hey, check out this website. Here's a pin. You can buy them for like 50 cents a piece from us. I think we make like 20 cents on them or something. You can get them you know, in groups of 100, groups of 10, whatever. The point is, it's all there. We've got Infowars.com, memory sticks, Infowars.com. Go there, online shopping carts, two different shopping carts to choose from, or call toll-free 888-253-3139, 888-253-3139, or write to me, Alex Jones, at P.O. Box 19549, Austin, Texas, 78760. And the power of the Internet, the power of the broadcast radio show, the power of you, I mean, the majority of people got woken up from seeing the films online and having people give them DVDs or somebody showing it, you know, professors showing it or, or, or students having meetings showing it. I mean, it's, it's unstoppable. You are unstoppable. No army can stop an idea whose time has come, as Victor Hugo said. Uh, let's, let's hurry now. I want to take five calls in the next seven, eight minutes or so because I, I got a bunch of other news I want to get to ahead of Catherine Austin Fitch joining us. We've got a long way to go and a short time to get there. Uh, Ken in South Carolina, you're on the air. Good day, Alex. Hey, buddy. I just wanted to report to you on this, uh, Carver's Bay story and the Junior Rossi draft. <laughs> um, I'm with the local tea parties and we're already on it. Um, uh, do you want to get some information out there to the listeners and what they can do? Yes, sir. Uh, go ahead and tell folks what's going on. I'll show them the mainstream uh, news article uh, about this, and that, that was coming up in the news. So we'll just kill two birds with one stone right now. Go ahead. Okay. The local principal may be beeping through as we speak, but I'm not going to take his call now. They are now sending me to voicemail because I wanted to get a direct comment from him before we began protesting. Uh, the school, um, let me give you the website to confirm the phone number. Well, for, I mean, for those that don't know, tell folks where Carver's Bay is. Carver's Bay is a small, or is one of our smaller high schools in rural Georgetown County, South Carolina. 
And it's, um, I want to say that now that's one of more of our magnet schools where we've, it was a predominantly black community, uh, a, a board, uh, Next to adjacent to a predominantly white community, and I think, and they want to feed them into the they want to feed them into the meat grinder, and so they're playing on their on the perception that they're ignorant. By the way, this is in L.A., this is in Chicago, this is in some Texas towns. I've been seeing this for about twelve years, and they've 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 set up the draft boards again. The Pentagon's put out four different reports I've seen, and I've even seen C-SPAN debates where they're saying we need a national draft. Wrangell's been proposing it. They've got the legislation introduced. We talk about it, and they call it a conspiracy theory. But what they do is, this came out in Houston and in Denver, Colorado. You can pull up the newscast where the parents would record it. And, and, and they make everybody join ROTC in the ninth grade. They say you must do it. It's not elective. And then they come in and threaten them and say, just sign this commitment form at 18. It doesn't mean you have to join the Army or the Marine Corps at 18, and then they graduate, and it turns out that they trick them. But under law, you can't get an underage person to commit, so they then trick them and say, it's the law, you've got to do it, and it's the phone calls. We played them here going, listen, you little bastard, you're going to go to prison. If you don't show up down here right now, you're in the core now, boy. And then the Army guy in Denver, he got promoted for threatening people. So if you want to join the military, that's your issue and be shot up with vaccines. Good folks in the military, but they're using illegal wars. But this is part of the mind control. Uh, your phone sounds like an electric razor, but your, your points are good. Uh, but this is going on nationwide. Uh, but, but, but again, you got one minute. Thanks for bringing it up. Uh, finish up with, with, with what the community is saying, then I'll cover the story. Okay, well, now in South Carolina, we do have compulsory service in the state militia, but this is definitely not the state militia, what they're doing with the federal uh, military program. And uh, we're pushing the local Tea Parties to, to join us to go out there and protest if, the, if they will not establish a standalone PE class and restore the PE class that this normally would be. This is a co-opting of the PE class into another one, and a lot of the students don't know what's going on. Also, uh, the, the website is www4 the number 4 dot golf charlie sierra delta dot kilo the number 12 dot sc dot us yeah is that the uh, school website that's the georgetown county board yeah, of education. Yeah, i mean i mean with the, the internet school. and radio let me give you a tip it's not really good to give out long convoluted urls it's better just to say search carver bay high school let's do it right now Carver Bay High School, South Carolina, official website, and then that will bring it up for you. Uh, and I'm glad you called, and I appreciate it. Uh, let me go ahead and cover this now since you raised it. Carver's Bay Enlist, ninth grade. Welcome to high school. Now drop and give me 50. And they have entire public schools, mainly in depressed economic areas that have been federalized, where the Army runs them. Uh, public military schools. In fact, search the term public military schools, and there's Chicago, L.A., uh, the LAPD's taking over the Explorer Scouts. They openly train them to take on gun owners and veterans. I mean, that's mainstream news. They, they're they training 14-year-olds. They've been doing it for two years. They're now 16, to take on America. And it's like, oh, how sweet. They're all in the Army now. Oh, no, the Army of the New World Order. What, you're not patriotic? It's like Nazi Germany where they went in and militarized the Hitler Youth. The entire freshman class at Carver's Bay High School has been automatically enrolled in a junior reserve officer's training corps, a military-sponsored program that trains high school students in military discipline and concepts. Principal Richard Neal, a Navy veteran, said the school's Marine Corps junior ROTC class, we saw this at San Antonio at the university, they trained to, quote, fight the militia at college. <laughs> Meanwhile, folks think, yeah, we're fighting to kill the Arabs. Now they're fighting to murder you and your family. It goes on. Is fulfilling it, the student's physical education requirement and is part of the school's ninth grade academy. But Charles Holloway, a parent and freshman student of Carver's Bay, said he did not want his son in the program. And it goes on, but they, he asked to have him out, and they said, look, this is, this is, this is mandatory. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, under federal law now, this happened, what, five years ago, they're in all the schools, and they demand access to your children during the school, during lunch, during the playground, and they lie and prey upon them. And a lot of these troops are whacked out, three, four, five tours. I mean, you know, you don't want the, I'm sorry. Most of our troops are great people. They're big listeners and supporters. But they'll tell you themselves, military recruiters will lie to you. 
They'll tell you, oh, you're going to get to go where you want and be with your buddies. You're going to you're going to get to travel the world. You're going to you know, you don't have to do this or that. I mean, I know I went and talked to military recruiters out of high school and because I wanted to serve.